Hi and welcome. I'm glad that you are here. You have taken the first step to extend your skills. That's great. I will guide you through this journey. Take your time, have fun exploring and keep in mind, learning is a continuous process. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Andreas. I'm the founder of Chrysler IT Services and I'm a lab view architect. I will be your trainer for this course. With over 15 years of experience, I helped many customers solve their challenges in the test and measurement area. My goal is to motivate you and inspire you to learn quickly, solve your challenges and enjoy the process. This is how we structure our trainings. We at Crisis IT Services provide high quality training and consulting services. Every trainer brings over a decade of expertise. We provide targeted off-the-shelf trainings, but also very highly customized ones. Our fields are LabVIEW, Python, TestSend and Diadem. In this section, we will talk about Nigel, the new AI advisor, which is integrated in LabVIEW 2025 Q3. It helps us understand, write and debug our LabVIEW code. Let's get into it. Uh, I prepared a simple project here in LabVIEW 2025 Q3 uh, with a simple VI that just creates a text file. And here in the menu bar, you will realize that there is a new icon. Chat with Nigel AI Advisor. Uh, maybe if the window is too small, it could happen that you do not see this icon. So make sure that the window is big enough and you will see this button here in the block diagram and also in the front panel. So let's click on this icon to start Nigel. Another reason that you do not see this icon could be that you haven't installed it. So when you install LabVIEW, you have to make sure that you also tick the option that you want to have Nigel, if you want to have Nigel. If you start Nigel the first time, you will be asked to log in. So you have to use your email address uh, where your LabVIEW license is associated with. I already did this on my machine, so we are ready to interact with Nigel. So let's ask him a basic question. Uh, what is a cluster? And hit enter. Let's wait for the response. A cluster in LabVIEW is a data structure that groups multiple elements. Yeah, sounds good. Mixed data types, fixed elements, and there are access methods like bundle and unbundle by name. And on the front panel, it appears as a labeled container. Yeah, so that's a great response. And I think especially when getting started with LabVIEW and learning it, it could be a nice uh, assistant uh, asking questions about basic stuff and getting familiar with the concepts. So let's increase the complexity and ask Nigel uh, how can we read a CSV file. Hit enter. So we get a step-by-step -step approach. Uh, you can read a CSV file in LabVIEW using the read delimited spreadsheet VI, which is correct. And here we get the step-by-step -step the things that we need to do, like wiring the file path, setting the delimiter input, specifying the format, and handling the output. And if we scroll down here a little bit, we also get a kind of a flowchart that shows us how to implement the code. And down here, we get some additional detail tips. We can even discuss our VIs with Nigel. Uh, let's try this out. Um, open up the context help using Control H or picking on the yellow question mark. Uh, then hover over the icon of the VI that you want to discuss with Nigel. Uh, I will want to discuss the debug window VI with Nigel. So let's click on discuss with Nigel in the context help window. Let's wait a second till Nigel is loading up. So we see that the screenshot of the VI gets loaded into the chat with the command describe VI. So it takes a while and now we see the response from Nigel. This VI generates a specific number of random values, multiplies each by a user-defined factor and writes the result to a text file, which is correct. So it did the analyzing very well. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit, we see a description of the controls and indicators, like the samples, the multiplier. It gives us the actual values. So it passed it correctly and a short description for the controls and indicators. So what do you think about Nigel, the new AI advisor in LabVIEW 2025 Q3? 
Do you think you can integrate it in your left view workflows in the future? We tried a few things out. We can ask basic questions. Uh, we can uh, even ask more complex ones. And we can also interact with our existing VIs and let us describe the code. That is pretty awesome so far. I am looking forward into the future. Let's see what will happen next. Congratulations, you finished this mini course. I hope you had fun and learned a few new things. And it would be great if you could share this training on LinkedIn. This helps us to reach more people and produce additional content. Thanks a lot. See you next time.